Ayo, welcome back to Stranded Deep. I am Mino. We have just arrived home and we need to unload the boat. Uh, let's see, first things first. We've got empty water bottles and some lights. We'll decide where those go here in a second. More lights and we're on to the rawhide and I'll go ahead and take care of those. All right, drop you here. Let's decide where the lights go. I don't think we've put any upstairs, and I know I want some on the balcony, so let's drop one here. And we'll drop one out here. Uh, let's see, let's put one in these corners here. It's a pretty big room, so I'm going to put a couple in each corner here. It's going to be our last one. Let's put it here. Good enough. Alright, and the water bottles we'll put over by the stills. That way they'll be easy to fill up later. There we go. That's fun. Okay, yeah, these are going to be fine for a minute. Uh, let's see, the rawhide we need to convert to leather. I do believe I have some of that already over here somewhere. Yeah. Drop it in here. So keep going. Pretty soon we will uh, take care of processing that. Uh, the wood. I'm concerned we're not going to have quite enough of this do what we want to do. If that ends up being the case, I will run back to one particular harbor and uh, pick up a little bit more so that we can finish up. Uh, once we finish the house, we need to address our boat issue and our weapons issue. So both of those are going to be on the to-do list very quickly. Let's see, we do have some more. Finding those wood planks could be what saves us. Uh, we only get one wood plank per log, so those run through pretty quickly, but luckily most of what we need is sticks. So, worst case, I can get some driftwood and uh, break that down for us. See, I have one more container left. I believe that's going to be logs as well. We might have enough. I do want to go back there eventually. I noticed that uh, one of the camps had a whole lot of building materials and another camp had a lot of stuff to make weapons with. I'm not sure if that's uh, intentional or part of the backstory that I don't know about, but uh, there's definitely usable materials when we get to each point. Uh, let's see, that should do it for these. We might get rain. Okay. Yeah, it's early enough. And those look like rain clouds. Let's hope we get some rain. Because that will water our farm for us as long as we are here on this island. So rather than try to figure out if we have enough right now, let's go ahead and use what we have while we wait to see if we're going to get lucky. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these converted into planks, and let's see how many we end up with. Alright, so I've made 12 planks here. Uh, that's going to get the storage containers that I want to build, or the storage container shelves. Uh, let's go ahead and put those where we want them. Uh, we're going to need a hammer. There we go. And I want to put those inside. We have all this open area here. I'd like to put a couple of shelves, maybe a table and chair over here, just because I thought I think it would look neat. Uh, we can put our container shelves 
Let's put a couple back here. No. Yeah, we'll put them over in these corners. Okay, let's move these lights because we don't want any clipping issues. There we go. And craft uh, some furniture. This corner, there we go, and the last one should uh, go right against that. I hate that they keep moving the menus. I really hope that gets addressed before the final version. Uh, a lot of the things in this game are forgivable, but goodness gracious. Okay, so we've got there. All right, so that should do those. Uh, now let's see what else we want to build. There is a neat little item. And I'm not sure if I just didn't notice before, or it's something that's been added relatively recently. But it's something we definitely want. That's a bed. So we're going to need three pieces of leather, three sticks, and some cloth. Okay, so the cloth will be easy. I definitely have some of that somewhere. Yep, one, two, three. All right. Uh, the leather... We might go ahead and process some of our rawhide that we just brought back. We need now three of those. Come over here and one, two, three. All right, and three sticks. Got a few over here. One, two, three. Great. Now the upshot of the bed is that you can actually save on it just like you can the shelter. So now that you can build indoors, it only makes sense that, uh, there we go. So you can pick it up, use it as an item, or interact with it. Isn't that nice? So you can sleep indoors now. That is a nice uh, addition. Now that we have that, let's see what else? Yeah, I was gonna put something down here. Uh, what do we got? Plank shelves are two apiece. We need three for the table. Of course, we want a chair. That's three. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten to twelve more. Yeah, I don't think that is gonna be happening. Let's go back and look at our pile. Uh oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did. I did. That was absolute coincidence, but how wonderful is that? I wanted to save the rest of the wood there because eventually we're going to need more firewood and, you know, sticks for just various other uses like hanging these lights. So I didn't want to waste them all right away. Uh, let's see. Let's put the table. there. Of course, what good is a table without a chair? Was it on there? Yeah, there we go. There. Scoot on over, buddy. <laughs> oh, that is handy. <laughs> okay, that's obviously going to take some getting used to. And you can't pick it up. Well, we'll pretend this is uh, that dude from Star Trek who keeps sitting backwards and everything. Number one. <laughs> That'll be Jonathan Frakes. That's for him. Okay. <laughs> let's see. We still have a little bit of water on us. Uh, let's get a sip just to refresh, and then we're going to start taking care of our garden.
we did not luck out with the rain, so it is time to do this the old-fashioned way. at this luck ladies and gentlemen it is raining it is raining right after I filled all of those okay so let's at least refill our water containers we'll try to take these relatively equally that way these will refill relatively equally I know there won't be enough to fill all of these containers However, the upshot of doing it this way while it's raining is uh, some of the fibrous leaves won't get eaten up when these things refill themselves. We'll also hold off on the rest of the garden until we can see exactly how much rain we're going to get. I don't know if this is going to be a big one or just a little drizzle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this looks like it will be just a little drizzle, so we will let this thing finish up. No need to wait around. Uh, let's finish up in the house a little bit. I know I wanted to hang some lights. We brought some extra logs. So we've got some wood sticks that we can play with, and that's all we really need to build our wall hangers. I think I'm going to have to actually drop this so I can pick up the hammer. Nope, I can take that. Great. Our lights should be coming on soon. Perfect. So now we know where to put them. Let's build us some wood hooks. Let's see. These will generally snap to walls if you hit them at just the right point, but you have to really get up on it. Put one right here. All you have to do, see, now we have lights. I'm going to go around and take care of that, and I'll meet you guys when we are fully lit and ready to go. Alright, I think that's all we're going to be doing right now. We've got a few more to hang up. We've got a couple out here and a couple upstairs. But I really don't want to use any more of our wood. As you can see, we're already getting low. And we have some other work that needs to get done. So let's see how the watering went. Eh, still need some more. Okay, we will finish that up. I think there should be some water in the stills by now. Yep, that's full. That's full. Let's go ahead and take one of our new ones. We're going to have to manually refill all of these anyway, so at this point it doesn't matter really which ones we take from. That does it. Yep. That's all of them. I drop you. You're part of my standard set. Yep. Over here. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. You're full. This one has two servings, it says. It's one more. Great. And you're full. Great. So let's put these guys up. There we go. Got a few planks left over, and there is no need to waste them. Uh, it looks like one stick, which uh, at this point, that is helpful. There we go, and let's put up our hammer. Uh, tools 
tools? Where's our tools? There we go. And the hammer goes up. Now it's time to collect all of these and make sure that those water still start refilling. We've got our water jugs refilled and we're ready for the next cycle. But we've got to make sure that our stills are as well so that we're not running behind. This is where the fibrous leaves will disappear very quickly. So the reason that it's a good idea to collect so many uh, if you're going to do the whole farming thing. So let's run over there and drop them in. Hopefully I've picked up enough. So you take four piece, two, three, four. Yeah, I should have plenty. Three and four. And we'll drop uh, a little separate pile over here. Oh, I have several left. Great. Okay. So that will let these refill. And we need to just wait around until they're full at some point, And then we'll need to refill them again. And then they'll be set to go. Now on to our personal stash over here. Let's get a drink. Yep, that could use one. There we go. And we have plenty of food over here. So that's not a concern. There we are. Let's top off. There we go. Okay. That is a pretty successful little recovery from our hunting trip. Uh, we've got a few pieces of leather to make and a little bit of processing to do. But after that, we'll be able to turn it around and go uh, get the last of the materials we want to get from one particular harbor before we start switching gears and addressing what we need to do for ourselves to get ready for the big boss fights that are slowly creeping our way. So let's get some sleep here real quick in our new comfy bed. That is nice. They don't have a stamina recharge or anything associated with it, but I can't imagine that not feeling great. Uh, the moon is setting. We're doing very good early early in the morning we still have our traveling supplies with the water skins and meat on the boat I left those behind thinking that I might have to head back so I'm gonna raise the anchor awkwardly turn this thing around and I will meet you guys when we get back to one particular harbor Okay, we are back at one particular harbor. I want to show you guys what I was talking about. Uh, this first camp over here, the guy had a couple of wood sticks, but there was a bunch of rocks, a bunch of stone tools. Yeah, some rawhide, uh, crude axe. Uh, see, I've taken some of these. Yeah, there's stone tool, lashings. Uh, this guy was kind of prepping for war it looks like or at least it's gonna try to uh, there's nothing here we really need the lashings are nice but we can always make our own uh, it's really the fibrous leaves we need if we were gonna take any of that now over here there's another camp though that uh, alternate shelter and they seem to have more building materials I'm gonna see if there's something over there we can loot out and then I'm going to chop us down a few trees to take with us. There's some really tall ones on the back here that will get you four or five logs each. I don't really want to take the clay because our next focus is going to be... How in the world did I get down here? I think it's back here. Uh, our next focus is going to be updating our boat. And bricks and boats tend not to go along uh, together too well, so... We're going to stick to some more buoyant materials. Um, since I don't have a gyrocopter to bounce back and forth, 
ideally we'll be getting us some barrels. Now the buddy of mine who made this island is also working on an abandoned shipyard. And I don't have many details, but that sounds really promising to have what we need. Uh, hopefully he has that out before we hit that point. Uh, let's see, some plank. See, this would have been handy. Uh, some more rocks, some lashing, some cloth, the brick scrap, which is nice, but not for us at the moment. An extra lantern. I'm going to take that. A refined pick. Always nice. Uh, see what else we've got. And another label maker. Yeah, we might as well start taking these lashings. There's enough of these laying around. Uh, let's see. Boop. Boop. Well, they had a stone tool. But, yeah. I seem to recall getting a... Cr yep, there's a crude hammer over here, too. And I will be taking that. We're going to be doing some building soon, and having hammers handy, that will be a good thing. Cleared all of this out. Not sure, did I go back here? Some jerry cans. We have plenty of those right now. Uh, yeah, this starts leading to the lagoon area. Alright. So this should be what we need from here. I'm going to go chop us down a few trees because it's actually sticks that we're needing at the moment. Speaking of. So I'll meet you guys back on the original shore here in a sec. We're going to try to be kind. Change of plans, actually. This is where that cool little diving board is. Yep, there's a couple of trees right here. We might just come back this direction to get them. See what kind of action we have going on. I seem to remember along the back wall there were some really tall ones. Those will probably be our primary aim if they're there. Uh, I remember setting a few logs out here. I don't want to take those. Uh, eventually I do want to come back here to hunt when the animals have respawned and I will need firewood when that happens. So. We want to keep those around to break down just in case we need them. In fact, with this one lone stick, I'll go ahead and add that to our small pile over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and put the lashings and the hammer on the boat. There we go. Oh, and the pickaxe and the lantern. We're not going to need you guys. And then let's go chop us down a couple of trees. Again, I don't want to take too many. Yeah. That's already starting to look pretty thin. I'm going to go ahead and take one or two from down here. I only need probably about eight logs in total. So let's see how lucky we can get with just two trees. Well, lucky in some respects, unlucky in others. Uh, I made enough of uh, a mess here, though, I think. Let's grab some of these sticks that are laying around. I think that's going to finish us off. It, it, it's really the sticks we were wanting anyway. I don't really want to take more. Let's take this ficus tree here. There we go. I think that should be good. Let's load her up, turn it around, 
head back home and we should be there before evening. Uh, that's where we will get some more food and water. Is there any here? It's raining. Great. Oh, luck be with us. Alright. Let's see. Hop up. Anchors away. Doot. And I'll meet you guys back home. Okay, back again at our home island. Uh, let's get ourselves unpacked here. Oh, we are full up. Okay, we're going to drop off the wood, which is primarily what we came to collect, actually. So the sticks go over here. We'll go ahead and put the logs over here. I absolutely intend to use those for firewood eventually. And that's going to be able to keep us going for a bit. I think I parked a little too far outside. What are you doing? Get in there. Okay, the lashings and the hammer. We'll put by our tools. Let's go ahead and put those up. Yeah, you'll work for that. Put you in there. And we'll put you in there. We've got some sorting to do, but I want to move some of these containers inside that have more of our permanent keeper stuff. So I'll do some sorting off camera and we'll be all nice and organized by the time we get back. Let's see, is there anything else that I... Oh, I packed out oh, nothing. Great. Okay, so that sorts us out there. And that still hasn't cycled fine. So let's get us some more fibrous leaves over here just to top off the ones we had taken from. Ooh, we were dead empty. Right. Let's see, I think this should just about do it. Hopefully. I had no idea how hungry these guys were. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this extra pile that we had here and Hopefully that'll do it. Another thing I will have to do off camera, it appears, is go gather more of these. <laughs> so, note to self, I have a little bit of work to do before I meet you guys again. And there, that did it. Alright, we'll drop this off in a big pile. There we go. Get a little bit of water. Yep, another bite of food. We are set to go. Fantastic. Okay, so this leaves us at a decision point. There's a little bit of housekeeping and organizing to do, but once that's done, it's either weapons or the boat. I don't know which I'm going to do yet, so I'll make that decision while we're away. And next time, we have some getting ready to do, no matter which way we choose. So you guys have a good evening. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode.